Hey again. All right, guys, this is Sagittarius reading part two, but you know what? I'm going to turn this also into a collective reading. So uh, this reading's for everybody. Um, I want all of my followers, subscribers to get some extra spiritual protection today. Keep those prayers up, man, because there is some evil fuckwads on the earth and in the world right now. And they are getting their karma, Spirit has already said. Um, there is two negative masculines. One of the negative masculines just in general in the collective that's really bad for the earth right now because they're not healed. Once they heal, they might be better, but they're being stopped. And then uh, there's a negative masculine and a negative feminine around Sagittarius. Terrius, um vibes. So let's do some extra spiritual protections for everyone. Hi, welcome. Welcome back, Ablay. <laughs> thank you so much for being here with me. And thank you everyone who watches this reading. Oh, and I have to say this, guys, before I uh, finish with the oracle card. So let me get you excited about it, though. So we're doing some Egyptian oracle cards. Yes, we are. Um, we're also going to be doing some Kali cards today and we're also going to get some cards from the lantern oracle deck these are kind of like shadow work guys so I really want to try and help these people in the collective or thieves or negative people around you or anyone that's struggling with something right we'll see what's coming out and what advice spirit has for your karmics, uh, what they have, any advice they might have for you that might resonate too. We got the Lantern Oracle deck. Ooh, and look at what's on the bottom. Native Indigenous. Uh, it's about going to nature. So um, that's very healing. <laughs> so, all right. So that's what's going on. We're going to get a bunch of these Oracle cards in a minute. Um... Oh, I forgot what I was going to talk about now. Maybe I'm not meant to. Maybe Spirit just wants me to move on. Mm. Hate it when that happens. So you guys hate it when that happens? You have a thought and you're like, I got to say, it, I got to say, it. it's really important. And then you forget. Interesting. If it's meant to be, it'll come back to me. <laughs> Hi, Bailal. I'm good. Thank you. How are you today? Good morning. Spiritual protection. That's what I was talking about. Just know that you are highly spiritually protected. All right. What does uh, Spirit want to talk about today with these? Uh, what's the message today for the collective with a Sagittarius energy vibe to it? All right. What's up? So what's going on with these uh, people that are struggling right now in the collective or in the world right now? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What messages do you have for... Oh, that's what I wanted to stop and say. Oh, yay. Okay, now I remember. Thank you guys so much for being here. I want to say thank you so much to all of my new Instagram friends. Thank you so much to all of my new YouTube friends. You guys mean so much to me, and I really mean it. My YouTube account, Aphrodite Tarot, is really actually being shadow banned. YouTube is doing it. We have proof of it. I recorded it with some coworkers. So thank you so much to you guys. They're helping me fight the algorithm and the machine. Any of your comments, any of your, your likes, your hearts, um, following me, sharing, all of that helps my account. It helps my dream come true. And I thank you guys so much. I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like, Wow, thank you guys so much. It means so much to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um <laughs> and I and I just I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you and take a moment. So thank you, thank you so much. All right. Well, you're being grateful this time, you're being thankful. I can tell you got good uh you got good karma. So let's see what's up. What does spirit want to talk about? Let's do some healing. Let's do some collective shadow work with a Sagittarius vibe to it. So what's up today, Spirit? What does the collective need to know and hear what's going on? Uh, what do you want to say through the Egyptian oracle cards? Egyptian gods and goddesses. Okay. There's two cards that came out. Oh, more than two. <laughs> it looked like two. 
Mm. Protection. There we go. You're very protected at this time. There's a snake around. I ain't even got feet. They're a motherfucking snake. And they look like a human. You have the wisdom, though, to repel them. There's two snakes here. Three snakes here. And that's what came out in the Sagittarius reading. A negative fucking feminine energy and two negative masculine energies. There's interesting, though. There's some differences between snakes. Why does Spirit want to talk about snakes? Uh, the Chinese Zodiac is coming to mind, too. So, guys, there are snakes in the Chinese Zodiac. Like, I'm your the monkey. I'm a monkey. <laughs> it fits me so well. Uh, there is Year of the Dragon. This year is Year of the Dragon. Uh, but there are dragons in the Chinese Zodiac, too. So, look up your Chinese Zodiac. Um, the Year of the Dragon, maybe someone needs to know this, is really, really fucking good for monkeys. Yes, we're friends of dragons. Uh, monkeys, dragons, rats, and pigs, I believe. I'm not sure about the rat thing, but if I remember right, you gotta Google it, guys. If I remember right, those are the signs that were like, the year of the dragon was just like, fuck yeah, for. Um, so there's differences between snakes. Spirit wants you to recognize the difference between people, places, and things. Um, that there are venomous, poisonous snakes, then there are good snakes, and I mean that. So snakes eat rodents and rats. And also, guys, just because a snake is venomous doesn't mean it's bad for the earth. But spirit is wanting to talk about snakes. And they're wanting, they might be warning you about someone with a Chinese zodiac of snake. But they want to talk about the difference. So this is discernment. This is up to you to learn and decide who is a good snake in your life and who is a dangerous snake in your life, right? So... There is a snake on the outside of this protecting you on your journey. Oh yeah, look at this. This golden snake is protecting you on your journey. They are going to bring you abundance and they're protecting you. Uh, this cobra right here with the infinity symbol like above you, it's like wisdom, knowledge. Um, and they're protecting you as well and they're protecting your knowledge, your treasure. Interesting, your rubies. Hmm. And then there's a fucking snake up here. With feet. There's a, some sort of negative snake around you and then there's good snakes around you, okay? You are protected, all right? Um, there's divine good change coming with this 35. Oh yeah, it's in the works. Shoe, order, and peace. You're being protected, and Spirit is bringing you order and peace, and you've been working hard at order and peace. There's like this stargate, this bridge, and these feathers. You might receive a lot of feathers at times. You might find a lot of feathers. You might get a lot of feathers. Um, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. This also gives me that vibe of like when I think of the... Um, some of the illustrations, guys, of the Sagittarius card or the Temperance card, which is you're an earth angel. So you have this very earth angel vibe right now. You bring order and peace to situations. Very calming, like an owl, like a bird from the divine, like an eagle. Um, you're some sort of star bridge that brings protection and peace, order and peace. Why did I say protection again? Interesting. But yeah, you're able to get these messages from the divine. Birds are messengers, guys. These feathers represent messengers, scribes, scribes of God, master creator of all. However you talk about God, everyone's religion is different, guys. So like, as long as it's a positive spirituality, right, religion, but they're telling you that you bring order and peace and you get like divine messages and you're like kind of a scribe for God or master creator of all. However you talk about that deity, you know, whether you believe in Buddha or yada, yada, etc. Okay. Wow. 
Very cool. Order and peace. You have order and peace in your life right now and you bring that to others. Awesome. Renewal. This was in the reverse. Also, you know, when I looked at the bottom of that Lantern Oracle deck, there was the indigenous native lady in nature. So you need to go to nature to renew. If you can't go out to nature like the wilderness, wilderness, try a park, try a walk, maybe even helping your house plants, guys. Oscar's gotten so big, I need to trim him. Holy Shay is like starting to fall over. I got to trim him again. <laughs> um, even bouquets, guys. I get so relaxed and like have such a good time making bouquets. Um, maybe you like to garden too. And you like to garden in, with your flowers or your plants or your crops that you grow. That is very healing. Uh, working out, you know, that's very healing. That's renewal. So spirits saying you need to renew, recharge. Uh, yeah which is okay. Maybe it is too, because you're some sort of, you bring order and peace to people sometimes. You get divine messages. That can take a lot of energy out of you. It really can, especially if you're doing artwork or you're doing some sort of any type of work where you're exerting energy, right? So remember to renew yourself. Go to nature. Take time for that. Or like I said, do something positive with plants or something in regards to that if you can't actually go out and travel. All right, Kanam, 21, resourcefulness. Damn, you're very resourceful. You learn a lot. You learn from different people, different things. You're just very resourceful. <laughs> you know what comes to mind, guys? Upcycling for some reason. All these stacks that you're building, these colors. It's like, I don't know. You know what it reminded me of? Um... Ablay, you'll like this. Okay, you know what this reminded me of? Is this kid in Africa, and I don't know what city or what country in Africa, but he made like, took plastic and made it into blocks, like building blocks for houses. So he's upcycling like garbage and he's making money off of it and he's helping the earth. So I feel like you're really resourceful you may find things that you upcycle. Um, you're getting really genius ideas right now about um, how to help Mother Earth recycle, upcycle. Interesting message today. So it really remind me of that. But you're really resourceful. Whether it's spirituality, whether it's mind, body, spirit, whether it's helping Mother Gaia, you are very resourceful. Helping humanity, damn. Very cool. So with resourcefulness, that means you're wicked smart. You're very intelligent. Very, very cool. Awesome messages. Okay, so Spirit wants to go into the Lantern Oracle deck now. Okay, guys. This deck right here, obviously on the bottom, was Renewal. The same card. It's here twice, guys. So Spirit really wants you to renew uh, your spirit. Take a deep breath. Spirit wants you to meditate in nature, something to do with plants. You need to renew your spirit, renew your energy, okay? That's here twice. We'll just put that card here too, since sorry came out, okay? If you have indigenous roots too, or tribal roots, like uh, as a native, and guys, everyone's native to the land. Look up your ancestry. Even if you're born in America, right? You're born on that land, okay? Um, but let's say your ancestry, maybe you're born in America, but your actual like deep ancestry is in Africa. We'll talk about that. Then get with your roots. Do something from your ancestry that will help you feel renewed. Renew your spirit, renew your soul. There's a little bird, see? Little messenger. <laughs> It's a bluebird. Good luck. Healing. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, spirits reminding you nature, plants, animals, renewal. What else did you want to talk about today, Collective? What message is from the Lantern Oracle deck? Okay. What else from the Lantern Oracle deck today? Thank you so much for these messages, ancestors. 
appreciate you, spirit guides. Feeling very strong like spirit guides ancestors today. Your ancestors, your spirit guides got your back. I want you to know that. Honor them. Talk to them. Pray to them if you need to. What are their messages today from the Lantern Oracle deck? Thank you so much. Okay. Aww. Inner life. Your inner life is a garden to be cultivated. Look, she's got like elf ears. This is a crone. Someone may be in their crone phase of life. Right? We have different phases of our life. Or maybe they, they want you to listen to ancestors, your elders right now. There is knowledge. There is deep wisdom with your elders. Okay, Think about everything I've talked about so far in this reading. Maybe someone needs to speak with an elder or someone in their crone phase. Or maybe if it's resonating, it's you that's in your elder and crone phase. But this magical, beautiful lady, look, she's got Vulcan ears, like elf ears. You, my friend, are a star seed, a true star seed. <laughs> Many lifetimes you have lived. Oh yes, let's see guys. <laughs> I'm there with you, and look, I got little elf ears. They're not as pointed as hers, <laughs> but I do. You can't see it right now, but I swear. I'm like, I've been called elfkin before. So let's talk about this. So starseed, I love you. Yeah, Spirit wants to talk about that, your inner life, and you're very connected to the stars and the universe. Very cool. You're very wise. Your inner life is a garden to be cultivated. So I just feel like you're so peaceful right now when you are in your energy and your vibe. There's something about elders. If you're not in the crone phase of your life right now, there's something they want you to learn from elder star seeds. I'm shaking right now too, guys. I, haven't, I, I don't have any issues, like I'm serious. Um, so I don't know if someone shakes too, or if you have a family member that shook or shakes, maybe there's something they said or told you or something they want to tell you. Huh? Okay. Spirit says move on, but, oh, they want me to read from the book 43. Let's see if there's something else there. This is towards the end of the book. So, uh, whoever you are, you're very, very wise. Okay, so, oh, thank you so much, Ablay. Thank you. Hi, Axlam. Thanks, Ablay. Okay, so inner life. The more we tune in to our inner light or spirit self, the more we live our outer life through it. The more transparent we become, the more our inner life is reflected back to us through the intimate connections we enjoy with others and our surroundings. Wow. Without a healthy and solid sense of self communing with spirit self, there is only ever smoke and mirrors without. Okay, so they're saying that someone, remember how I talked about guys in the beginning and also maybe in the Sagittarius reading, like I talked about, let's try to help people right now or your karmics or what's going on in the collective or the universe like people that need help so people are lost out there they're lost about like who they really are inside they're lost for direction they don't know their inner self and when you don't know your inner self you can't have peace you don't feel at peace you feel sad you feel lost so I feel like you are one of those wise souls that's been reincarnated so much. You're helping other souls find their path. Wow. Very, very cool. Um, go to elders if you're lost or if you have someone lost around you that really needs help. Maybe help them figure out, like, what does their name mean? Figure out their ancestry. Where, where, you know, where are their ancestors from? 
what is it that they like to do? Help them figure out exactly what will fulfill them emotionally inside. Interesting. So also, guys, I need to say this right now. This is a channeled message. Spirit wants me to tell everyone right now in the collective, remember. Okay, if you're helping someone or helping people or you're learning from others, on this earthly lifetime, you cannot tell how old someone is spiritually by their physical age this lifetime. You cannot tell by someone's age this lifetime how much spiritual knowledge they know. You can't tell how much spiritual knowledge they have learned yet. You can't tell how old they are spiritually. And Spirit is saying that people have been disrespecting some other people in the collective that are very, very important guides and star seeds that have come here to help people with crone knowledge and wisdom from lifetimes and lifetimes and eons of knowledge. So be careful with that. Spirit wants to remind people, just because someone may look young, you don't know their age this lifetime, and you don't know their age spiritually. That is ageism. <laughs> like guys, sometimes people think that, okay, this is the truth, guys. Um, is I'm not trying to be conceited. I'm just trying to talk truthfully. So there are times that I look older, okay? There's certain pictures, angles where I don't look that great. Like right now, guys, I'm not, I'm wearing, so right now I'm wearing a tiny, tiny bit of makeup, like foundation cover up, and then a little tiny light lipstick. That's it. Um, but there are times I do doll up. I wear a lot of makeup. And there are times where I don't wear any makeup. It's because I want to be truthful about how I look, who I am, and I am not a catfish, okay? I want to be real with who I am. There are times, guys, though, that I do use filters, not heavy ones, not strong ones. There are a couple times I did use heavy face filters or strong ones. I didn't like how I looked. I looked like some other bitch with like, uh, yeah, but anyways, so there are times like especially zoom in to me and my certain lighting, right? Where you can see my age this lifetime. You can see my wrinkles or like, you know, my, uh, I don't know, the crow's feet? Is that what they call it? Like on my eyes. They're okay. So I am in my early 40s, but there are times people fucking disrespect me at work because I'm a woman, because I have a vagina, because maybe I did a little makeup that day and I look pretty, or they disrespect me because of how I'm dressed, or they disrespect me because they don't, they have no idea I'm in my early 40s. They might think I'm in my early 30s or something, which to me, that's still old, but not old, old, but you know what I mean, older. But Spirit wants to remind people to be careful with that because there are people that are reincarnated souls that really might be in their 30s and they're very fucking wise or whatever age. And you guys, sometimes I've gotten channeled messages from my stepdaughter and I'm not joking through art. You are so talented daughter. She's my spirit daughter. I know her soul. We have lived many lifetimes together. She's my spirit daughter and I believe that. Thank you my sweetheart daughter. She has given me channeled messages through her artwork that she's gifted me. And thank you for those gifts, Lexi. I love you so much. And she is younger than me this lifetime, but I'm telling you guys, she is so wise sometimes. So listen to elders and listen to youth. So that's a message there, okay. All right, so let's do a Kali card and end this reading. And I'm so proud of you guys. I just get this vibe like you guys, people watching this reading today that resonates for, you really understand all this spiritual stuff and you're learning, you're growing, you're ascending, and you do respect people. And you do respect other people's spiritual knowledge and what they have to say. And I also get that you don't judge people on how they look and that's beautiful and that's amazing you love people for how they were created Aww. 
You are a very wise, old, reincarnated soul. I love you, my fellow star seeds. Love you guys. All right, Kali, let's get some protected protection up in this bitch. <laughs> Kali, she is a fierce goddess. She's a spiritual protector, and she will cut the heads off your enemies and wear their skulls around her neck. Kind of like how Native Americans used to scalp their enemies. It wasn't about, you know, it was about being a warrior. It was about protecting their family. It's about protecting um, their women, about protecting their horses or protecting, you know, whatever um, abundance they had at the time, you know, right? Their harvest, their meat, their um, whatever they were harvesting in berries or other ways that they were um, gathering, right? Kali is going to protect you and me. It's going to protect those with the light. All right, here we go, Kali. Thank you, Kali, for your protection. Thank you to the entire army of the divine and galactic beings. Me and mine are highly protected at this time. Any ill will will be returned to sender. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. All right, here's a picture of Kali. <laughs> Kali's not bad. Beautiful deity. Beautiful goddess. She is spiritual protector. Warrior. All right, here we go. What's up, Kali? What protection, especially your message, do we need at this time, Kali? This is one of my favorite oracle decks of all times, guys, for real. Thank you to Alana Fairchild, and thank you to the illustrator. I believe it's Jimmy Manton, if I can remember your name right. Uh, I love his illustrations. He is so so talented. Uh, why am I not seeing it? I, th I believe his name is Jimmy. Okay. I don't know why I'm not seeing it right now, but Spirit says get back to it. All right, Kali. What Kali card right now? What message from Kali? Thank you, Kali, for your protections at this time. Appreciate you. Hum, hum, crum, hum, 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 hum. Mahavidya and Vishmata, two of them, okay. All right, number two, number 15, two for happy, harmonious relationships. Look, you are so aware at this time, no one's going to get past you. Your third eye is blaring open, so Vishvamata. Vishvamata, number two, happy, harmonious relationship. Two is also a master builder number. You're building. Kali is protecting what you're building. Just like this from the first reading. Okay. With her protection, even significant uncertainty does not need to be wrought with despair. There is a pathway that can shift your devastation into a palpable experience of being protected and guided through a difficulty. Trust where you are being led. Grace shall come from this. Okay, she's protecting you on your path. She's also going to help those that I was talking about that might feel a little lost on their divine path. She's going to help you find your way and protect that, right? Look at these earrings. How amazing. The Divine Mother sees her capacity for breathtaking transformation and spiritual awakening, often form it far more than we recognize in ourselves. So you're spiritually awakening more. Oh, yes. And she is protecting you as you spiritually awaken and you transform. She's helping you on your journey, on your path. How beautiful. Thank you, Kali. All right. Wow, this is one of the longest invocations. Wow, you want me to read it? Okay. I bow to thee, Kali Ma, cosmic queen and supreme yogini of all hearts. You know how to overcome the ways in which I delude, deny and diminish myself, where I am complicit in deceptions that can only birth sorrow. 
You are gentle and sweet, even as you lead me into direct confrontation with that which I have tried to avoid. Your compassionate wisdom is unwavering through your fierce devotion to my heart's liberation. I shall overcome even the deepest wounds within myself. Vishvamata Kripadhara. In your kindness, you require me to cross the threshold from fear to trust and blissful peace in the sanctuary of you. You know my capacity and how to evoke my potential into expression. Even more than I do, with perfect trust in your wisdom, I shall not turn away from what is before me. I shall successfully navigate and triumph over all soul challenges through your grace for the spiritual benefit of all beings. J. Ma Kali. Wow. So Kali is also helping you conquer fears at this time and help you trust people. And like I said, the snakes, she's going to help you discern, listen to those inner voices, okay? Listen to your gut, your heart, and your mind, all right? Who's good for you? What's the right path? What right decisions to make? Do not make decisions right now willy-nilly. Uh, take time to really research and figure out what decisions to make. You have some very important decisions coming up or decisions in your life. Take time to make those decisions. Don't make impulsive decisions at this time. Kali's got your back, man. Okay, 15, one for spirit self, five for uh, positive changes coming. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Mahavidya. She is unrestrained, unlimited, wild, and unconditional love. The heart knows how to attract grace and manifest creative resolution where the mind sees only difficulties. Stay positive. A spiritual awakening of tremendous value is opening for you as your inner being reorients itself around the increasing inner light. I told you, your inner light and your divine gifts are increasing. Established structures built upon lesser foundations, structures built, they will give away. So make sure you build your foundation strong, okay? Whatever you're working on, whether it be relationships, whether it be businesses, build that foundation strong. Uh, you don't want that foundation to give way, right? She demands the courageous embrace of experience. She is your call to initiation and growth, your invitation to embrace your path, rise and greet your destiny. Wow, you are on your destined path right now and you're seeing that. All right, let's read the rest here that I wanna read. <sighs> Beloved wisdom, mother of my heart, Mahavidya Kalima, I mentally and emotionally let go now no longer trying to impose my viewpoint upon events. No longer trying to impose, oh, excuse me. Yeah, no longer trying to impose my viewpoint upon events. No longer buying into interpretations of what is happening in my life, which created fear, confusion, and distress. I rest still in the center of my being where you reside. I become quiet, feeling and listening for your presence. I am now receptive to your infusions of wisdom. I surrender and am empowered to move forward on my path, secure in your guiding grace for the spiritual benefit of all beings. J Ma Kali, or Jai Ma Kali, but J, I believe it is. Wow, Maha. so you're really conquering fears at this time. And you also are, you're not deluded anymore. You don't have delusions of grandeur. You are learning, your inner light is growing. It's so amazing, it's so bright. So I can see it, I can feel it. Oh, this is a beautiful time right now for your transformation, your inner light is growing. And you know 
that you don't need to participate in negative things or negative things people are speaking or doing. No, you're going with the light. Wow. And you are not afraid any longer to show your talents. You are going to show your divine talents and your gifts. You're going to collaborate with a lot of people in the future. A lot of people are going to be more than happy to pay you and for your time and your gifts and not not in a bad way not in a, you know they want to pay you because they need your help oh there's just this amazing transformative brilliant light energy right now and you're learning and you're dropping those fears and kali is helping you protect you so that you do not fear. You don't care what other people say anymore about what you're doing. No, you're, you're able to talk it out. You're able, to, or you're able to discern and say, you know what? I don't think this person really knows what they're talking about. So I'll take it with a grain of salt. I'll be the bigger, better person. I'll let that shit go and I'll go on my way. I'll keep on my path because I know who I am. And I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid of who I am. I'm not afraid of what's in the future. You're also not afraid of the unknown anymore. Yay, good job, collective. All right, well, that's the reading for today. Um, guys, I'm gonna post this as two different parts on Instagram and on YouTube. So please see part one that says Sagittarius vibe, Sagittarius reading. A lot of good stuff in there. and um, But this reading is for the collective, for everybody, and with a very Sagittarius vibe, right? Our warriors of the Zodiac. All right, I love you, Sagittarius, and I love you, collective. I love all you Zodiac signs. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. I love you. And keep on rocking it. Hell yeah, no fear. Let's go. Fear is the killer of dreams. There's that sunshine. <laughs> All right, let's go, you guys. You got this. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Mwah. Love you. Have a great day.